My name is Samson Otekana. I'm from Delta State, uh, precisely the Rebo side. I live in Lagos. I study here in Lagos. And as you can see, this is what I do for a living. I study this administration in Lagos State Polytechnic. Then um, I'll be running up next year by the grace of God. I start this business right from my childhood. My parents is what they do for a living. So I started when I was six years old. I started from the scratch, the scraping of the cane and all that. So that's where I start learning this to work from. I particularly, it's not that I am specialized in one area. I can make the chair, I can make a basket, I can make cap with it, I can make shoe, like shoe with it. Um, standing, um, that is a um, walkway. Can make anything you want to make, you can make it out of it. You see, I have a customer that comes and they booked. Once they booked, then they told us, like, can you make order of 20, 100, 200, then we are good to go. It's not that maybe we have one, one, um, special customer we do supply to year to year so anybody who comes in and buy then we are good to go like this period now uh, customer can come and say please within this week we need 20 within that week we need 50. so what happened is between ourselves we gather together we team up to make sure we, we get it out what they need mostly the challenges we face in here is in fact our own place, you know, we are under the bridge. We are under the bridge. So we face a lot of things like um, the, the government, like they want to evacuate us because of the surroundings, sometimes it's dirty. So we try to make sure we meet up to the environment to clean up everywhere. So that's how we can sustain this environment and all that too. That's one of the biggest challenges we have been facing when we need the material, like two, three weeks ago, we needed the material. But the material just came in now. So we fail customers sometimes because of the, due to the material aspect. That is one of the challenges too. My name is Obawe Fethiye from Delta State, Isoko North, local government. Uh, I'm a graduate uh, from the University of Lagos, study building, and also an entrepreneur. And this is what I do for a living, for now. And I'm proud of my job. Growing up wasn't easy, but we're living in Lagos, I see we're living at the village, so we're walking. No, that was 1998 when we moved to Maryland here. We were hawking, selling them for our mom. So when we came down to this place, when my dad brought we were very good in playing football. So the children here, the young ones here, who are now my friends, my colleagues, they, like, they loved us and they introduced us to the business. Through this job, a lot of us went to the university. Like me, I, I entered into a uni lab, that was 2008. Yes, and um, after... After my exams, I come down during this season to do the job. So after my NYC, I submitted CV in some various companies for construction. Um, I wasn't too confident though because no construction 
no, it requires food joke. I wasn't, I didn't have the fluid experience, so God, I just decided, okay, let me come to this fluid. And because of the love I have for this job, and I find that I'm very creative. This is almost more than 18 years in the job, so you can imagine that. There's no design you want to bring that will tell you we can't do or I can't do. Because every day by day we grow into knowledge in this job. And based on the knowledge we've gathered, I'll tell you so far so good, I'm happy. Challenges uh, majorly because of uh, we have a lot of plans to cover up. Uh, we might not have enough, enough capital to start up the business. I, I love this because I do that. The governor, the governor body, I don't know if he was the one that started it, but there is a microfinance bar called uh, Ibile. Ibile came in August, yeah, August, that's four to six, uh, five months ago. They told us everything about this loan deal. Which we really start for. Do not, at the end of the day, some of us collected it, but the second batch we didn't collect. I just paid for it because for me, I waited for that money. I'm not, I don't have any other job. I was doing internship. Internship is free. So I needed a loan to back up my business. Because I knew this, this year was going to be a very good year. The guy came to talk us. They even collected our money like I paid 20%. My boss. I decided to give me 10,000. A colleague who is a, is a plumber, Mr. Dutton, gave me 10,000 also, which was the money I used to push that loan, a billet. Waiting for two good months, two good months, the guy keeps sweet talking us. They even came, okay now, they, they, they made a deal that every month you pay some percentage back. Now it was three days to that day, they started disturbing them. Even coming here, threatening us that they will go and revoke our market right. For God's sake, it is wrong. Apart from the money aspect of the other challenges, is I'll say location. But for now, I will tell you, we love this location. If the bridge is well treated, maybe flowers, the government is working on bridges now. And they, make, they do a good plan for this place, architectural plan, it will be good. The reason why I said this location is good is because Maryland is central. People from Mekmeye can come to Maryland. People from Ikorodu, from Ikeja can come to Maryland. But if you take us far away from this place, that is not central, it might cause a lot of uh, uh, like the pace at which uh, clients comes in and not be much. Uh, like this chair, one of the chairs was picked up by, by, by a white lady. She actually used Ankara, I will send you the picture, to make our own cushion. It was lovely. A lot of toys, uh, people went to toys, they come here and they just love the place. So challenges is just, it's minor, it's more space. If this place can be well taken care of for us, we appreciate. Allah, you are total. Oh, I joy, I am Allah, you are total. What have you done? I'm good. Um, I work in Cane Village as a basket weaver. I was born and brought up here in Cane Village. My mommy was big, I mean, doing the work before. And my, my grandfather was, was one among the founder of this Cane Village. So I was like, let me say, was like four years then when I started this work. My mom would just call me, said I should help her to chew baskets. At times I chew basket, I scrape cane for her. So that, that is how I started the work. The income is good, but the only thing is that we need capital. We need money. 
to have to make our business boost. Some people here we don't have enough money to make business. If we have money, we can the income will be better for us. I supply any customer that comes to me. If you need it, I'll give you. Please, for me to supply anything you want, I supply you. If you need basket, if, it depends the quantity of basket you want. I'll give to you. I don't select customers. That is the only challenge you have is capital. We want the government to help us. That is the only thing. They can help us with the loan. Where we can get loan and do our business. Work the continent noir.